Welcome back, my fellow Nate Aspirants. It's an exhilarating time as we dive into the most awaited moment. The calculations of the Nate 2023 results provided by the WBNCC from their provisional list. I am Sam Riyan and I am thrilled to have you on on my channel. Let's begin. As you can see on your screen, the total number of candidates registered in WBMCC counseling is 7628 for NEET 2023 this year. The students with respected categories are for general it is 3354, for OBC it is 125, for OBC A it is 984, for OBC B it is 532, SC it is 1761. ST it is 398, for and for EWS it is 474. Now you guys will have a common doubt from where did I get this data and it is correct or wrong. Now what I want to show you is the provisional list. This is a provisional list released by WBMCC just a few days ago and it shows you your state rank. This serial number is your state rank and these are the total number of candidates which have participated in this year counseling. So as you can see that the total number of students is 7,628. Now you guys want to know how do I get the general and the data for the respected categories. Now if I search general, the total number of searches are 3,354. So that means the total number of general candidates are 3,354. Similarly when I search for another category such as EWS. Now see the total number of candidates which are EWS is 474. So this is how I got my data. Now, the total seats reserved for those categories are 3,210. This is released by the NTA just a few days ago similarly and it shows you the total number of seats allotted in each college and in under each category for MBBS and BDS students. So, the total number of seats this year reserved by the state of West Bengal is 3,210 for medical colleges for which General has 1,330 seats, OBC other backward classes has 10 seats, OBC A has 317 seats, OBC B has 222 seats, SC has 696 seats, ST has 190 seats, EWS has 317 and PWD has 128 seats. Now, what is interesting to note that only ESI Joka which falls under central government in West Bengal has 10 seats allotted for OBC only categories, not OBC A or B, OBC only. No other state college for government of West Bengal has OBC seats and the, these candidates will be considered as general category. Now, under PWD candidates, there are varieties in respective categories like for general PWD it is 61, for OBC it is 1, OBC A is 13, OBC B is 9. SCPWD is 33, STPWD is 8, and AWS is 13. Now, what's interesting this year is that the NRI candidates were participated at a total of 27. For which general there are 25, one is SC and one is OBCB. Now, we all is completely about the state MBBS counseling. So, the NRI candidates aren't able to participate in the state quota or management quota for the medical college in West Bengal and this is given in page 3 and 4 of information bulletin in WBNCC site. Just to verify it, you will go, you need to log in to the WBNCC.NIC.in and you have to go to the notice for WB UG counseling and there on page 3 and 4. You can see the candidates who opt for NRI quota cannot opt for state quota or management quota. Hence, these 27 candidates won't be able to participate in the state quota. Now, for the PWD candidates, this year the total of PWD candidates who have participated in counseling are 48, for which general it is 30, OBC it is 6, SC it is 11, and AWS it is 1. Now, what's interesting to note that since PWD candidates are less than the required seat, like I mean the required seats for PWD candidates allotted by the state of West Bengal is 120. However, the students who have only participated are 48. So these seats will be converted into respected categories once they are unfilled. Like for general it is total 61 PWD seats but the candidates are only 30. So the remaining 31 seats will get into the general category. Same goes for OBC, OBC A, OBC B, SC, ST and EWS. The remaining seats of the PWD quota will get converted to the respective category. So the earlier the amount of seats allotted in general category was 1330 but these 31 seats which are remaining seats from the PWD category will be added and a net total of 1361 seats will be there for general category in this year counseling. 
Similarly, for OBC PWD, it is 11 seats. OBC APWD, it is 324. OBC B, it's 231. SC, it's 718. ST PWD is 198. And EWS PWD is 329. Now, Let's see who are the students who are not applicable for first round government MBBS. I'm saying it again, this video is for the government MBBS counseling and not private or semi-government or management quota. So the NRI con candidates, as I said earlier, that there are total 27 candidates who have participated in this year's counseling and they are only limited to deemed universities or private universities. And there are some students who's gone domicile got rejected in this year's counseling, so they cannot apply to first round but they can apply to second round providing the domicile format required for counseling. So there are at a total of 421 students whose domicile got rejected in the document verification allotted to colleges. And as you can see on page 9 of the information bulletin, if the candidate fails to provide valid or appropriate domicile certificate during ver verification, then the candidate shall be considered as non-domicile to the state of West Bengal then he or she can participate for management quota of private colleges in the same route. They can participate in management quota, but they are not eligible to participate in state quota. And this is given in the information bulletin in page 9. Here you can see this paragraph if the candidate fails to provide valid or appropriate domicile certificate. Now, the main part of this video how to know which rank will be cut off for round one let me tell you at the very start this is an estimated cutoff it can vary to a certain degree for general the number of candidates as i said to which participated in this year counseling is 3354 and the number of seats as we calculated considering the pwd categories which would come into general is 1361 so technically we can say that 1361st rank of general category will get the most probable seat if we go into the serial order. So that roughly corresponds to state rank 1686 and all India rank 30176. This is according to this table like the provisional list provided to us by the West Bengal Council. So my estimation is for the general category. The cutoff rank for first round counseling would be around 28,000 to 30,000 all India rank. For OBC A, number of candidates are 984 and the number of seats allotted is 317. Hence, the 317th rank of OBC A category will get from the most probable seat considering it all goes in serial number, which roughly corresponds to state rank 1,462 and all India rank 26,728. And as you can see on the screen, I have searched from the provisional data the 324th rank of the um, of 984 and it roughly corresponds to 1462 and 26728. Moving ahead, for OBCB, the number of candidates has participated is 532 and the number of seats allotted by the state of West Bengal is 231. And the, so the 231st rank of OBC category will most probably be in the be in the very high probability of getting the seat which again roughly corresponds to 2,343 state rank and all India rank is 39,851 again my estimation would be anything between 38,000 to 40,000 for OBCB and for OBCA the approximation for the cutoff would be 27,000 to 29,000 now for SC category the number of candidates are 1,761 the number of seats are 718 and the 718th rank of SC category will get the most probable seat if we go in serial order. Now this roughly corresponds to state rank 4571 and all India rank is 1,22,704. Now this, this everything data is from that provisional list which I have taken out. So nothing is, nothing is made on my own. It's all through the data provided to us by the WBMCC site. Now my approximation would be that anything between 1.2 lakhs any candidate or any student with rank all india rank 1.2 lakh to 1.4 lakh would easily get in the seat in sc category now for st category the number of candidates are 398 the number of seats are 198 hence the 198th rank of st category will get the most probable seat considering everything goes in serial order which again roughly corresponds to six state rank is 6,701 and all India rank for 5,93,699. My 
approximation or guess would be anything between 5 lakhs to 6 lakhs the student of ST category will get the MBBS government seat. Moving ahead for the EWS category at last, the number of candidates are 474 and the number of seats are 329. This year, considering there would be a drastic decrease in the cutoff for EWS because the number of candidates, the difference between the number of candidates and the number of seats is very less. So the 329th rank of EWS category will get the most probable seat. So that roughly corresponds to state rank 2931 and all India rank 49803. My approximation would be anything between 48000 to 52000 would get the seat under EWS category or government MBBS college. Thanks for watching. Future doctor, if you like the video, do like, comment and share.